Chris Patak with Card Concepts, and today we're going over how to replace the touchscreen in a fast card touch kiosk. The following is what you will need if you need to pause the video at this time. And with that, let's begin. Press the maintenance button behind the touchscreen on the right. On the touchscreen, press maintenance menu, shut down reboot, and shut down computer. After a few seconds, go to the power supply, switch to the off position, and unplug the power cable. Remove both the card and bill stackers to better reach the bill acceptor screws and touchscreen mounting nuts. On the bill acceptor, remove all four screws on the left and right sides of the bill acceptor. By doing so, you will be exposing the fourth nut that will need to be removed to unmount the touchscreen bezel later. Next, it is strongly recommended to disconnect any USB cables along the right side of the touchscreen mainboard for easier access to the touchscreen's connectors. There are three connections on the side of the monitor you will need to carefully remove, the ribbon cable on the control board, and two going into the touch panel itself. To disconnect the ribbon cable, gently tug at the locking clip to unlock and remove the ribbon cable. While doing so, be sure to not completely remove the clip as you will need to reattach it later. You will then disconnect the power and video output cables from their respective ports. With no cables connected to the touchscreen itself, you can now unmount the screen bezel. Using your driver, remove the four mounting cap nuts in any order. These can be found behind the bill acceptor, above the card dispenser, next to the Wi-Fi antenna, and above the power board. While removing the fourth cap nut, keep the screen secured and the kiosk upright to prevent the bezel from sliding out of its mounting holes. With the four cap nuts removed, carefully slide the bezel out of its housing and set it face down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Now we will be unmounting the touchscreen from the bezel. With your driver, unmount the four hex nuts from each corner as shown. Upon doing so, we will be gently sliding out and removing the old touchscreen from the bezel and installing its replacement. Be very careful in lifting and replacing as the panels themselves can be very sensitive. When reinstalling the mounting nuts, thread by hand first before hand tightening using the driver. As with any replacement touchscreen, it is very important you do not over tighten the mounting nuts. Doing so will cause the front panel display and touch panel to warp. This will lead to inaccurate or unresponsive touches and even damage to the screen. After hand tightening the mounting nuts, check the screen for any discoloration or warping to ensure there aren't any over tightened spots before remounting the bezel. Once you are ready, reattach the bezel to the kiosk with the connections closest to the bottom left corner when facing front or bottom right from behind the kiosk. Hold the bezel still when threading at least one of the four mounting cap nuts in place to prevent any potential sliding. The bezel's bolts where the cap nuts should be threaded into are next to the Wi Fi antenna near where the bill acceptor was mounted, above the power control board, and above the card dispenser. Secure the four cap nuts with your driver, and you are ready to reconnect cables. First, reattach the power and video output cables to the touchscreen's ports, taking extra care with the video cable to prevent damaging pins. Whether using the original or a replacement touch panel control board, when connecting the ribbon cable, make sure to hold the ribbon cable forward in place in its port before locking down the clip. If any USB ports had devices or cables removed, repopulate those ports with their respective devices and cables as well. Remount and reattach the four screws to secure the bill acceptor back in place. Reattach the bill stacker and card stacker if both were removed as instructed at the beginning of this video. Finally, reconnect the power cable and switch to the on position and you will have successfully replaced the touchscreen. With that, we have reached the end. If you found this guide helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to CCI's YouTube channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.